Hey everybody, it is Coach Monica here today. Listen, I know you're feeling a bit nervous. I get it. I understand the thought of a macro scares the living daylights out of you. Totally get it. I want you to know you're not alone. You are surrounded by a whole group who is going through the same thing you are going through. What is a macro, Monica? Now, I'm gonna teach you this, and I'm gonna teach you along the way what a macro and the importance of macros in your ketogenic lifestyle are. It's the difference between winning and losing. They are very, very important. But here's what I want you to know, dear one. I want you to know that I need you to relax, okay? So you came in with a whole group of people who don't know anything about macros. I gave you a tool, my tracking device, my tracking app, which is incredible. You will not want to be without it ever again. I gave you that and some of you got it two weeks early, which is amazing. You are learning this software. Learning the software is part of the learning curve. And so right now you're getting to know the software, you're learning all of the things, right? But what you are not getting, I guarantee you, is you're not getting your macros correctly. But you know what? That's the way I want it, okay? So right now, all I want you to do is to get to know the tracker. Some of you, most of you have your macros figured by your coach, and that's a good thing, right? You know where we're going. A lot of people start their journey and they don't know where they're going, they're just kind of flying blind, but you know where you're going. Every single one of you has 20 carbs, right? But you know what you don't know? You don't know what foods contain what carbs, right? You have no idea. That's good because you're learning. Every time you put something in your tracking device that you have never heard of, you don't know what the nutrition guidelines are for, every time you put something in there, guess what you're doing? You're learning. You're learning that in an avocado, if you put an avocado and you had a whole one, you're learning that that avocado has 12 carbs. You're also learning that that avocado also has 10 grams of fiber. How do you know that? Because you're plopping it in your tracker and that tracker is showing you. And I say that as an estimate because every avocado is different size, right? But you also know, or you will know, that when you subtract the fiber, because we're not digesting that, when you subtract the fiber from the total carbs, you get what's called net carbs. So you will know, in, in fact, that 12 minus 10 is two. So an avocado has two carbs. That's something you're gonna learn, right? But you didn't know that before you put it in your tracker, did you? You didn't know that a strawberry has, you know, three carbs. You didn't know that, right? And I don't know how many, how many carbs a strawberry has, but when I put it in my tracker, I do. Okay, so right now you're just learning. The other thing you don't know is you don't know how to maneuver through your macro ratios. So you have 20 carbs, you may have 64 grams of protein, you may have 143 grams of fat. It's bio-individual, I figured it out personally for you. But you don't know how that looks when you put it in your tracking device. I compare it this way. I compare it to going to the set of Dancing with the Stars and me saying, Barb, I want you to go out and I want you to get that nice looking young man and I want you to take him on the dance floor. Now he's a professional dancer. You take him out there and you start dancing with him. What are you gonna do? Oh honey, yes I know what you're gonna do. You are going to trip all over his feet. That is exactly what you're doing in your tracking device. But I promise you, as you get to know your journey, as you get to know your macros more and more, that is gonna become like second nature, right? A lot of us eat the same thing every day, so we're like, oh, I know what that is. You'll get to know it. The key here, and the key to practicing your macro entering the key is to practice the night before. If you have an idea of what you're going to eat the day after, put it in the night before. You may have to adjust the serving size. You may say, oh my gosh, I don't have enough fat. I need to add butter. I need to have, add olive oil. I need to add, that's, that seems to be the typical thing of keto, of not knowing you know, how to get your fats in. Add butter, add uh, olive oil, add an avocado, add make macadamia nuts. You're gonna learn this, okay? And then when you go into the big program, you're gonna get my big keto Bible. 
when that big keto Bible hits you, you'll know exactly what you're doing, okay? So right now, it's just practice. Right now, you are focusing in on what food has what, okay? So when I go to figure my macros, a lot of you have some high fat. That high fat is your tool to success because you will never be hungry. If you are hungry on keto, you're doing it wrong. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. So what I do is I focus my day around the fats and the protein. So I put all of my protein in there. I'll put that ribeye steak. By the way, ribeye is the most fatty version of the meats, okay? So I put a ribeye in. I'm gonna watch that bar graph on the bottom. If you scroll up your, uh, your app as you're entering your food and you see a circle, like a target, and you see below it lines, you're gonna know exactly where you are throughout the day, okay? So I put in that ribeye. Focus your day around protein. Put your protein in and then start to add your fats. <clears throat> start to add your olive oil. Start to add your cheeses. Start to add your macadamia nuts. These are all high fat items, right? Put some butter on that steak. Put some butter in your whatever, in your coffee, whatever. That's what you do. You start it with your protein, then you add your fats. You watch that bar graph, you go up, you probably have the right macros. It is high fat, that's the key to keto, right? Because you will never be hungry. When you eat all of that fat, you are detoxing. You are, um, you are removing the sugar burning carbs from your body and you are turning your body into keto, putting it into ketosis, meaning that you're burning your own body fat for fuel. As you lose weight, I bump those macros down so you won't always have a high fat diet. Right now you do because we're converting your body into ketosis. Then I add my carbs. That's when I add my veggies at the end. So bottom line, ladies and gentlemen, bottom line is practice. Practice, practice, practice. Do not give up. I promise you it will become like breathing. When you take that man on the dance floor and you take a spin around, you're going to jump all over his toes. It's, it is completely normal. However, the more spins you do, the more times you get out there, the more it becomes like second nature. Tracking is key. I'm going to talk a lot about carb creep. I'm going to talk a lot about that. Okay? It's a real deal. That's why a lot of people fail when they're on a diet because they have carb creep. They have all of these things that they didn't even know. I remember <clears throat> when I, I wanted to see one time how I used to eat before ketosis. And I did, a, I did a normal day. I didn't even do an exaggerated day. I did a normal day. I came out with 420 carbs. We have got 20. <laughs> carb creep is real. Did you know in a tablespoon of garlic powder, there is eight carbs? Yes, ma'am, there is. Imagine, now we're not going to eat a tablespoon at one sitting, but imagine all of those things all day long. This is the key to winning. I want you to relax. I want you to breathe. I'm not going to be able to teach you everything in two weeks. That's what my coaching is for. But I do want you tracking. I do want you focused. And I do want you all in. All right? We get started very, very soon. I'm so excited to work with you. I want you tracking. And I just want you experimenting. And I want you to have fun fun. We don't have fun anymore, y'all. We need to have fun. We need to do this together. I love you all to the moon and back, and we will see you in the next session.